Hello YouTube, Black is back. I am bringing you a video of Panzer with a fine giant dxtory.com watermark on it. Because my dxtory copy is a trial and Fraps just decided to die on me. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to bear with it. It's kind of messed up, but okay. You'll still see what this is about. Um, first of all, I'm really, really sorry that I didn't make any videos for the last two and a half months. I just, you know, exams, college, visit the family, all kinds of stuff. It's just, there's just not enough time for me to really do anything on the computer. Uh, and when I am at the computer, I rather just play than uh, actually fiddle around with stuff. Um, that being said, I will be making more videos, but, and here comes the kicker. Um, both this channel and the Epic Buildcraft channel are going to get changed a bit. Um, this channel is mainly my channel with content of me, which is uh, what well, was focused on Minecraft. Um, it's not going to be like this anymore. I'm just going to throw in everything that I like, that I enjoy, every game I can find. You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, something similar is the case with Epic Beard Crafts, which we will probably need to rename into Epic Beard Crew. Now, um, since the Minecraft hype died down a bit, at least for me, um, I just don't really enjoy playing it anymore, especially since 1.6, which I consider pretty much uh, meh, meh. Uh, that's my reaction to the, to the update. It's like, horses, yay! And my reaction was like, horses, eh. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much how I reacted to it. I, I just don't feel like Minecraft is still something that I would like to do. I'm still doing it every now and then, just for fun whenever I feel like it, but I'm not gonna do it primarily on this channel. The same kinda goes for Epic Beardcraft. Um, Originally, the idea behind it was that we all get together and make maps. But, here's the kicker. Uh, Manukuti and Giraffe both are admin or co-admin or in some way um, work for different servers, right? And Giraffe does maps all the time. So, if you really, really want good maps, go check him out. There really is no need um, for us to do one together because his maps are fucking amazing. So, go check that out, the link to his channel will be in the description. Yeah. So we decided what can we do with that YouTube channel Epic Beardcraft, you know, it's just gonna sit around otherwise. Um, and we decided, you know what, we are just going to play games and make videos of it, uh, co-op or versus or something like this, just multiplayer. Um, there will also be videos of whatever Giraffe and Manuku D feel like putting on it. Simply because pff, I like to think of Epic Beardcraft of not, you know, a fast way to uh, do multiplayer stuff or do things together. No, uh, the members of Epic Beardcraft or the Epic Beard crew generally have all the freedoms they usually have too. You know, if they feel like doing something, they can do it. If they don't, then they don't, right? Uh, that's basically the gist of it. So, Epic Beard Crew will also be no longer mainly about Minecraft. There probably will be the occasional Minecraft video on it, but it's no longer the main focus. Um, that being said, I think that's about all of it. So, to the game you are currently seeing on the screen. That game is called Panzer. It's from some kind of Russian site thingamajig. The link will be in the description. Uh, it works or it runs on the CryEngine 3 and I have to turn on the sound. As you might have noticed, I am actually recording my voice after I recorded the video simply because I realized that I used the wrong microphone and it sounds incredibly bad. Uh, it was a waste of money to buy that thing. Uh, so now I'm back on the headset, which doesn't have the best audio quality ever either, but yeah. I just couldn't let you watch a video where the audio was terrible, uh, like really, really terrible. So I decided, okay, well, there you go. I will simply make a commentary out of this instead of a, you know, in-game commentary. I will just do it afterwards. Yeah. 
The game is called Panzer. Uh, it's described as a MOBA, which I think is completely not a bullshit because it has no MOBA elements whatsoever except for, okay, your hero levels up, right? <laughs> so, basically there is uh, four races. The humans, the whatever the female characters are supposed to be, I think they're trolls. The dwarves and the orcs, right? Every race has uh, two classes. The classes are race and gender level. So, if you want a nice witch, it can only be a troll, uh, or whatever race, the, maybe they're elves, but they look like trolls because they're fucking ugly as hell. <laughs> um, yeah, the classes are Ice Witch, uh, Fire Witch, then there's an Engineer, which you see here around with the turrets, that's an Engineer. And then there's the other Engineer class, uh, which has a different name, but basically what they do is they plant down these totems and walls to cover or uh, protect ways so people don't walk through and they put up mines and all kinds of stuff, you know, kind of bit. So that's the Dwarvish and the whatever race the females are in this classes. And then there's the humans and the orcs. Um, the humans have the healer, also known as the paladin, and they basically heal. That's about the gist of it. They do little to no damage and their main job is running around with whatever, just sprinkle around health points basically. <laughs> and the other thing that you see on the screen right now, the guy with the two swords, that's basically the Inquisitor. And the Inquisitor is your standard roguish kind of class, right? Stealthy, get in from behind, stuff like that. Yeah. Whew. Need to catch my breath. Uh, the orcs have also two classes, and that is the Berserker, which I'm currently playing, which is just, well, as the name says, you just basically club people with a big, big club. You hit them, and you punch them, and then you die, like I'm going to in a second. Yep, there. Uh, cold. <laughs> and also the other class of the orcs is the tank. Uh, which pretty much does what it says. He has a shield, he has a sword, he stands in front of stuff, and then he does the combat, me bro move. And, uh, yeah, ignores attacks from the front, which is quite. Yeah, there you can actually see one on the left side. Although I kinda ran across him. Just smack down this turret. Yeah, on the left you see him again. Basically, they protect you from all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Now, uh, game modes, which I kind of dislike, is that you cannot actually choose which game mode your game will have. Um, there's different game modes, but it's random which one you get. Most of the time, you will get King of the Hill, just like now, where you just have to basically. Well, it's not King of the Hill. It's uh, basically stand on this point for X amount of time until your team collects 500 capture points and then you win basically so what is this capture and hold something like this um there is king of the hill i assume or i think but i've never actually been in one i've been in a siege which basically is you know one team defends the other team gets in there and tries to take it over uh, during the siege there's also all kinds of stuff that you can build, you know, catapults and cannons and all kinds of stuff that is uh, part of the environment, which is uh, used to get you into or break through some walls or whatever. Yeah. And then there's all kinds of other games uh, stuff. Uh, it went through some changes recently which I didn't quite read up to yet, so I'm not completely up to date as to uh, what actually is going on now but you know it seems to work out quite well so yeah the link for this game is in the description go check that out definitely and uh, it's a lot of fun it's free to play if you have a few bucks you can get all kinds of bonus stuff like you know three days extra experience and more money drops and all kinds of that stuff um, or you can just leave it like this and just level up normally. What I do recommend is um, take the tutorial. Even if you've done it three times or something, always take the tutorial. Because if you don't, your character will be level 1 with no potions whatsoever. 
If you take it, your character will be level 2 with 40 potions, potions of all kinds. So a total of 120 potions and 40 of each kind, being uh, energy, mana and health. Energy is used to allow you to sprint and to do the biggest smashes and the, uh, how's it called? In Germany it's called Kraftangriff, but basically it's just, you know, a heavy attack. My spinning right now is an example for that. Uh, it just hits heavier than the normal attacks. That's all it basically does. You can see me here waiting for it and then smacking around and completely missing because the guy is already dead. Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing to watch, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mana, of course, is only used by the witches and I think the healer, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, the witches, I must say, quite fragile, uh, one hit by a berserker, basically, just one big hit and the witch just, just dead, <laughs> just like nothing remains, and also you're the priority target, uh, the witches and, uh, I think the priorities mainly are turrets, because they're fucking annoying and they do a lot of damage, and then witches and then inquisitors, because backstabbing assholes are a pain in the ass. Basically, yeah, and then, then everything else, you know, tanks last probably because <laughs> no one gives a shit about them. Um, when they block, they can't do damage, they just stand there and just absorb damage like a sponge. Other than that, uh, the damage they do is not that great either, uh, in comparison to the Berserker at least. Uh, let's see, no, the guy went away. Yeah, definitely check this game out. It doesn't get that much attention in terms of uh, YouTube videos or stuff like this, which I kind of don't get because the game is quite addictive. Uh, it's quite a lot of fun, so definitely check this out. <sighs> Whew! Run, talking for a long time. Uh, takes your breath. It does. <laughs> uh, so. What else is there about this game? Well, basically, um, there's equipment stuff. When you level up, you can equip cooler weapons and cooler equipment and cooler whatever shields and. Whoop. Yeah, I actually did get the guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I am currently level five on this character, I think, so I'm no longer the beginner's equipment, uh, which basically is for the berserker. It's a loincloth cloth and uh, just a piece of wood. So, I guess I should be glad that my piece of wood has some metal attached to it. <laughs> or some stones, so I can't actually see it. Yeah, it runs, like I said, on the Cry Engine 3. Uh, performance wise, it's actually pretty stable. You rarely get lags. And yeah, we won. The game is over. Which means the video ends here. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, then leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Also check the description for the link to GWAF's Minecraft channel, and of course, Panzer on the game. So, I'll see you next time. Bye!